Lachlan has been uh, the chairman and co-chairman with his father and CEO of uh, Fox Corporation since 2019, and this is a logical progression. Uh, uh, Rupert Murdoch said back in the 90s that Lachlan was the first among equals of the three siblings uh, from his second marriage to Anna Murdoch, Lachlan, uh, Elizabeth and James. And that's the way it's panned out, although there's been sort of highs and ups and downs uh, in the intervening kind of quarter of a century. Uh, that's exactly what's happened uh, overnight. You've spent quite a bit of time studying Lachlan Murdoch. So let's look to the future now. Is there going to be much change in editorial direction, uh, in the way the companies are run, or is the hand of Rupert still going to be firmly on these companies? Uh, well, Rupert will be Chairman Emeritus, and so I'm sure that Lachlan will consult his father from time to time, as he always has uh, throughout his life. Uh, but Lachlan, actually, the untold story in a way here is that Lachlan really has been taking charge of the business at Fox, uh, which generates the bulk of the profits for the Murdoch Media Empire uh, uh, for some time now. And uh, I wrote in my book, there was a kind of real bata uh, baton passing moment uh, in early 2022 when uh, when Lachlan brought the boards of both Fox and News Corporation together at his uh, Beverly Hills mansion in Ch um, LA, uh, at Chartwell. And, uh, and that kicked off talks about merging, uh, merging Fox and News Corporation. And it was really that proposal was designed to entrench Lachlan as the undisputed, uh, you know, person in charge of the, of the empire. And I think that's what we've seen overnight. Mm. And, I mean, we talk a lot about you, the US, and that's because the reality is Fox News has had a profound influence on politics and democracy in the US. And now Lachlan Murdoch takes over the, both the companies, uh, Fox News having this $787 million settlement defam on defamation that we've been discussing. We are going into another election period. We're in it uh, with Donald Trump at this stage likely to be the Republican candidate. How is Lachlan Murdoch, what guidance do you think he is going to be giving his companies? It's basically a repeat of 2020. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, one of the differences between Lachlan and Rupert is that Lachlan is less in interventionist. He's less of an editor in chief. Uh, Rupert always could not help himself um, and was, you know, endlessly fascinated and involved in, uh, you know, media and politics uh, and uh, whether from the US to the UK to Australia. Uh, whereas Lachlan is more hands off and I think he uh, thinks that it is not his role to be making. Uh, you know, editorial decisions, uh, certainly on a daily basis uh, at Fox News. However, uh, they have made huge changes in the wake of the Dominion settlement that you just mentioned. Uh, in particular, uh, they've fired their biggest uh, primetime uh, anchor, uh, Tucker Carlson. And uh, we've also seen, uh, since the uh, Dominion case was settled, an announcement that Viet Dinh, the uh, chief legal and policy officer for Fox Corporation would be retiring. So they have been making changes. Uh, what won't change uh, is the kind of what Lachlan describes as the centre-right strategy uh, of uh, Fox News. Uh, and, and what they have also begun to recover some of the ratings they've lost by firing Tucker Carlson. Uh, so I think that I think what will ha there'll be more continuity than change uh, out of this announcement, uh, but but as I say, it's a process that's been happening for a while with Lachlan inc increasingly taking charge of the business.